All right, guys, another new series I'm trying to get off the ground that goes, well, more into games that influenced or dramatically changed how we look at genres of games in general. By that, I mean, before they came along, the genre wasn't as notable or wasn't as impactful. And after they came by, almost the entire genre felt different. The idea is that every so often a game comes along that does something so different and in such a specific way or hits in such a specific time that the industry as a whole sets up and takes notice of it. These are the games that for all intents and purposes help the genre or sometimes multiple take off. And today I want to start off with something a bit less common than you would think because today I want to talk about a game that stayed niche even though the games around it seem to take off. And that's Tribes. Tribes was released in late 1998 and was a team-based shooter following the escapades of the Tyran Resistance that's driving the Prometheus forces out of Earth and onto the moon, where they're seemingly destroyed by General Ambrose Girdling and his squad during a daring suicide attack. They however survive and flee into space. Mankind then begins to rebuild and fortify itself against a possible retaliation after learning that the Prometheus forces survived. However, in the process, they ruthlessly exploit the Martian and Venusian colonies, which starts a huge pushback from those colonies, leading to the resistance movements among those colonies. Basically, it all became a reason for players to choose one of multiple factions and blow each other into itty bitty pieces. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, in part because of timing, and in part because of how the game worked. Small teams would compete in games like Capture the Flag, Deathmatch, uh, okay, this one's not very new. Capture and Hold, where players on the team must seek out and capture bases or assets, and defend and destroy objects in the opponent's base before they do the same to them. If any of these sound familiar, it's because most of these concepts were introduced for the most part in Tribes and didn't end there. These modes were so well fleshed out and so interesting that many of them, if not all of them, would go on to be used in other games, like Quake 3 that would use it in their game to further catapult the arena shooter into popularity. How do I know Quake didn't come up with the idea, you ask? Well, simply put, it released almost a full year after Tribes. They wouldn't be the only ones to take a page out of this game's playbook either. Unreal Tournament, one of Quake's biggest competitors, would not only use Deathmatch and Catcher the Flag, but Defend and Destroy as well, though they tended to call that mode Assault. Even games like Capture and Hold are used in multiple games. Halo Infinite uses it in big battle mode, as a matter of fact, to hold a capture point to gain you points. The longer you hold the point, the more points you get. Overwatch uses it in multiple maps, matter of fact, just basically to hold and gain a percentage on it, with the winner having held the capture points for the longest amount of time. Regardless of the game, the modes that were pioneered by Tribes all the way back in 1998 are still in use, and Tribes' influence wouldn't stop there. The game has also gone so far as to introduce vehicles into its gameplay and find a way to balance it. Something that Quake wouldn't do in its gameplay, and Unreal Tournament wouldn't do until its third installment. It would, however, be used in a little game you may know, Halo. Halo would go on to use vehicles not only in its multiplayer modes, but in its campaign as well, starting to help make vehicles mainstay in many of the video games to come. It's safe to say that Tribes not only brought its fervent fanbase a lot of joy in the gameplay that they designed, but helped influence numerous other titles that many others would enjoy over the years, while still bringing out games themselves with releases all the way up to 2012, and rumors of a Tribes 3 on its way sometime this year in fact. Whether it will evolve how we look at FPS games the way it did in 1998 remains to be seen, but it will be interesting to see if the team that makes this game will do something that inspires new ideas and gameplay mechanics like the previous one did. Until then, every time you see a vehicle in an FPS, see a CTF match, or even just sitting there controlling a point, I encourage you to take a moment and remember where it came from and how far we've come since then. However, that's enough of me for now. What do you guys think of this one? What do you think of this series? Did any of you ever play Tribes when you were younger? And if so, what are some of your favorite moments? Let me know in the comments. And if you can do me one more favor, please leave this video a like. And if you haven't, considering following the channel, that helps me out a ton. Till we meet again though, have a great rest of your day, and happy gaming!